Last time on Dice Quest, our heroes retrieved Mjolnir from the elemental plane of air and killed a group of cultists that were summoning a strange purple cloud from the sea. Welcome to episode 35 of Dice Quest. Are you casting this spell? No. Because I was trying to find a guy. And he's a human. Or some flavor of normal person. Yeah, some flavor. That's, that's so I'm guessing no. that's a no. Wait. Oh, Waiting. no, damn it. Locate creature is a fourth level spell. Oh. Oh, no. That's the end. Of All right. Damn it. So, what would we like to do? We got to take care of that smoky thing. It seems to have mostly dissipated by now. Like, the spell is no longer being cast. What is the thing that was in the middle? You go over to inspect, um, make a medicine check. Can I see? Sure, medicine check. That's 20. All right. Um, 13. All right. While we're rolling on, I'm sorry, I had my roommate talking to me. What, sorry? What were we rolling about? Uh, medicine to try to determine what the thing in the center of this blood circle was. I got a 15. All right. So, Marilyn and Vanny, you both see this as a corpse of some kind, rather small. Um, a little oh, bigger God, than you child. are, Vanny. Rangram, oh, you're okay. a little more experienced in the field of medicine. You recognize this as the now charred corpse of a small human. By size, your guess would be about eight. Aww. Aww. Um, so, yeah. JJ's the only one who had like a real genuine reaction to that <laughs> they sacrificed a wee boy poor girl <clears throat> a wee child a wee would... what would we like to do maybe Cry we should go it. outside and see if you know the storm ended <laughs> yeah that would be wise probably a good idea okay so you guys make your way outside and kind of like the smoke in the room, these purple clouds seem to be dissipating and in Woo-hoo. their stead, not exactly where they were as this gas has been, you know, just leaving the area, are falling rather large, strange looking fish. Um, some are just completely ink black. Others are very deep purple and not the band. <laughs> and they are falling to earth. Some, How big are they? Some are like the size of ships, easily 100 feet long. <laughs> Others are maybe half or a quarter of that. I am and disgusted. any building they land on is decimated and not in the traditional definition of that word. Destroyed. Mm, so. Marvel. But yeah, other, other, like, nothing else horrible is happening. Just mm. raining giant fish. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, you know, it's about like ten every Tuesday. fall, and then nothing else seems to be is there? coming from these clouds. You know, I, I'm gonna count this as a success. <laughs> yeah, mark this down as a win. Uh, a blessing? Can Thank God. I, I mean, at make, least maybe they'll be able to eat the fish. Can I make a check to see what these fish are? Ooh, that is a solid question. What are the fish? Mm. What are the fish? Mm. Can I also help him inspect the fish? Yeah, I'm just yeah, trying I'm to curious. figure out what to ask for. What kind of fish are the fish? Make a general intelligence check. Uh oh, I'm dumb as shit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a nine, so you better be smarter. I wanna than try, I wanna How try. about I just help Vanny? Because she's smarter. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna help. Okay. Vanny, uh, Vanny roll with advantage. Uh, okay. 
I got a six. So the nine first one better. was a nine, so take that. Can I try? <laughs> yeah, I thought you already were. Okay, good. I, was, I didn't get a response, so I was like, do I still get to try? <laughs> so I got a nine. I mean, I got an unnatural 20. All right. <laughs> the wizard, famously good at knowledge, happens Yay. to know a little more about these creatures than the other two. So, Marilyn, you don't really recognize these fish, but they're too big to be, strictly speaking, natural. They're definitely not, not like natural born fish. Something created them. So they're not like fucking salmons. <laughs> no, like you can't even imagine it. The like bottom of the sea, something like this would exist. They just don't look natural. Or for a bigger question, are they edible? You're not sure. Are they edible, Jack? <laughs> if you would like to try, you may cut off a bit of the fish and try to eat it. <laughs> would I die? You're not sure. Guess You've you never know. tasted super big, <laughs> unnatural looking fish like this before. Rangrim, will you eat it? <laughs> yeah, I have pretty good constitution. I'll do it. Yeah, just you, leave you it. it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of fish and eat it. <laughs> okay, so as you guys um, start walking towards town to get a chunk of fish, a little clap of thunder and s lightning strikes about ten feet in front of you, and standing where the lightning struck is Thor in all of his shirtless glory. Mm, nice Hi. abs. <laughs> I thought you were going to say nice ass. So I was like, I did yes. too. I fully <laughs> nice that. ass. I right. oh, got some mad cake, though. He <laughs> <laughs> thick AF. AF. Thick with three C's. <laughs> this has been my favorite thing. We just need Thor all the time. <laughs> Thor, give me some of that cake. <laughs> Cut me off a slice of that cake, Thor. Oh, God. <laughs> what have I done? Can You've I just given us too it? much power. We're gonna go bother Thor all the fucking time. <laughs> He's gonna have a restraining order against <laughs> us by the end of this campaign. A restraining Thorder. <laughs> God, that was bad. So stupid. Fuck you. That was God bad. damn, that was dumb. That was really bad, I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I, I didn't say that to Thor, though, because I'm a nice, good paladin. I assumed none of this <laughs> was said in game. You're thinking about no. it. <laughs> this stayed within Rangrim. I just want to look at him and be like, give me a piece of that cake. <laughs> mm. All right. So he says, well, what was it? What was what? Black clouds. Sorry. The cultists. Cloud things. Mm, cultists. W what did they want? I don't know, we killed him. Uh, they didn't live things. long enough to tell of us. <laughs> Alright then. My kind of people. And he just kind nice. of, with a clap of thunder, vanishes. And strike of lightning, obviously. <laughs> clap of his ass. So I get to keep the hammer? Didn't take it from you. Woohoo! Run. <laughs> I'm gonna shove it down my pants, then it's mine. Okay. Wait. S I have so just, a little just, letter that has all sorts of fun things Mjolnir can do. Would, would you like ooh, me to read yes, it to you? Yes, please let me know. Or... Yes. I was going to send her, like, the action, like, proper wording and everything. That would be smarter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So off to the city to go eat a giant fish we go, right? Heck yeah. Rangrim's gotta eat it. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna eat a little fish. I want to see how okay. it is. He's so, a little hungry. Mm, so you get into town, most people are still just fucking panicking. Because I love how we're calmly just they're strolling singing. through, like, let's go get some fish, fish yeah, first, call much. people down later. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you go up to a fish, presumably, grab a knife, cut a chunk off, and take a bite. Am I correct? Yep. Like a small chunk. All though. right, go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw against being poisoned, Rangram. I have a plus three. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
That's a 20, not natural. This is against being poisoned, and you are a dwarf, Rangrim. Uh, That's a 20, not natural. Did you roll with advantage? No. Why not? I don't know, because I'm dumb. Because you're a dwarf, and you're about to be poisoned. That's a 20, not natural. Okay. So, you take a bite of this, and, like, this blood-like fluid just kind of pours out as soon as you kind of, like, pierce the meat with your teeth. But it's way thicker than blood. Um, You feel like if anyone actually tried to consume this, they would either go completely mad or die. Luckily, the taste is enough to get you to spit it out almost immediately. But go ahead and make a history check for me. Cool. The taste of terrible fish really brings back memories of history class. Ah. (laughs) Ah, yes. Uh, that's gonna be, uh, 17. This taste is familiar in a strange way. Like, you definitely haven't tasted it like this uh, explicitly, but something about it jogs memories of your first time in Snowcastle. What happened the first time we were in Snowcat? <laughs> I'm like, did you cannibalize someone? <laughs> mm. I don't know. What kind of meat was in Specifically was the first day you were in Snowcastle. That's when we went to the bar um, and we had a little bit of drunk dwarf adventures and then the lady took my sword, right? That was the first night. So you're saying the lady fed me shitty fish? Hell yeah, I'm saying she did. this taste vaguely reminds you of that ale. Ew. Oh, it's what makes you get she so poisons. drunk. Uh, or she just poisoned the shit out yeah, of you. Yeah, maybe she was trying to fucking kill, kill you. Or she was trying to poison me. That's probably more likely, because otherwise it would remind me of my childhood. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> th- that taste doesn't remind you at all of the ale you had at home. It she reminds you specifically you, <laughs> of the ale here in Snowdrop, Snow Castle. Why did you try to call it Snowdrop? That's spooky where she get a hold of in Snowdrop. bad salmon. Snowfall, all right, all right. I, I'm going to try and like make an announcement to the town and try and calm everyone down while they're panicking. Okay, make a persuasion check with disadvantage. He's, they just saw me eat some I mean, fish if there's anyone like, who's a good hell? public speaker, it's Rain you know Grim. what? I have plus three charisma, so don't at me. How? <laughs> Paladins. Paladins. Where? The circumstances. They, they have know. good charisma. Uh, we don't see it very often. Yeah, exactly. Persuasion? That's no, going to be a 12. Not. Okay. Good Christ. A couple of people just kind of, like, stop to look at you, very confused. But pretty much everyone else is freaking the fuck out. Like, homes have been destroyed, shops are ruined. A couple of people are trying to raid the castle. Guards are mostly holding them at bay. As, like, one massive fish has kind of just destroyed a section of the wall. But... Wait... It's kind of can chaos I try right now. Can I try? try? But do better. <laughs> can you try to what? Yeah, I want to try. Try to what? I also want to try. What are we trying? To like calm people down. Oh, okay, yeah. This is and like skill dog piling, but it's valid because they're just like, they want to be better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can I like climb on top of Rangrim so I'm above everyone? They're like, let's just sure. idiot. Sure. Can I climb on top of it? Sure. Marilyn's <laughs> on top of everybody else. Make persuasion checks with disadvantage. I got a natural 20. With disadvantage. I got a natural 20. Okay, listen, that was the best thing ever, Jack. I got a 9. I still did great. I got an 18. About 10 people stop. Not They don't stop panicking, but they stop for like a minute or so to kind of hear you out, Marilyn. But the panic ensues. This doesn't feel like a panic you can just kind of calm people down from. This is like a panic that needs to kind of set in. 
I just wanted to do something. <laughs> well, let's leave. And because I'm a narcissist, I feel like I can do everything better than everyone else. <laughs> that is specifically why I'm standing on top of Raven. Very on brand. <laughs> so, what would we like to do? All right, well, when Marilyn's done speaking, I'm going to go over to the people trying to raid the castle and see if I can get him to just go away. Uh, I'm going to just sit down and hang out. I like chaos. It's fun. Okay. It's good time. We'll tell, well, maybe I'll... So, like, Raingrim's actually concerned, and me and Vanny are just having a great time. Maybe I'll challenge them to eat some fish. Maybe if they can survive eating the fish, they can continue on with their <laughs> they, day. Then they deserve to live. <laughs> but if they can't, then, uh... Well... So you're trying to stop... Natural selection. <laughs> so you're Natural trying to selection. stop people... From raiding the castle, correct, Ryan? Yes, I'm not actually going to do the fish thing. Okay. So, how are you going to try to stop them? Just try and, like, like separate them from the castle and be like, just go home. You don't belong here. There are about, like, 70 people all rushing towards the castle. Just how are you going to get between them and the castle? I don't know. I'll wave my sword around. You're gonna okay. kill people? No, not at them. You're gonna threaten what? people's Make, lives gonna, like, in the middle of a the panic? Air to get their attention, because it's long. M- make an intimidation check. Can I just make a persuasion check to be persuasively attention getting? Because I just want attention. I don't want to scare them. <laughs> I feel like you're no. waving a sword about. That's gonna be intimidation. <laughs> Fine, I'll intimidate them. With disadvantage or just normal? No, just straight intimidation. Can I use strength for that? I guess it doesn't really matter. Never mind. I say you can, because it kind of makes sense. Nineteen. Nineteen. So. I love that nineteen. Quite a few people stop. Still, like, most of them are going around. I'm just going to say to the people that stopped, like, you don't belong here. Go home. Rebuild. One your person that stopped to kind of listen to what you said, um, you vaguely recognize as a blacksmith in this town. You've kind of seen him walk around. You've seen him when that dwarven procession was in town. Mm-hmm. He just kind of steps up. Why should we go home? They've got hundreds, if not thousands of gold hidden away in that castle while the rest of us starve out here. Steal it. Steal well, it. Do you really need gold or do you need to survive? Getting fancy shiny metal from this castle isn't going to help you rebuild your lives. I don't need to rebuild my lives. I need to fucking eat. It's not going to help you eat that much either. I mean, where are you going to buy food? Gold talks. Gold buys fish. Gold buys meat. Gold buys milk. Gold buys me a fucking farm. Gold could buy me a mine. He's got a fair point. <laughs> he does. <laughs> and I can't rebuild my shop on my own. There's a fucking two-ton fish on it. Well, I think if we can get the rest of these people to calm down, we can get the castle to distribute its own goods, but I think that theft is not the way to do this. Oh, those pricks They're up stealing. there on their high horse. Yeah, like they'd fucking share anything. Steal You'd be surprised, it. I think. Oh, would I? How long have you been living here? You'd be surprised what you can see from people. Sometimes it's a lot worse than you think, like these cultists that rain the storm, and sometimes it's a lot better. But see, you raiding this castle, it'll destroy this town. It'll destroy the infrastructure. I mean, unless you're planning, are you going to have a revolution? Is that your goal? This town has been fucking dying for years. I think those pricks up there stop anything. Do it. barely have any power. Do it. Why do you think they built those walls? Keep the rest of us fucks out. Who can do it? Let's start a revolution. (laughs) Yeah, I'm kind of down. I was about to say, you can go ahead and make a persuasion check. Realize it's going to be hard, but you can make one. (laughs) That's a ten. Alright. He just kind of puts his hand on your chest, pushes you out of the way. And as he walks by, he says, Now get out of my way unless you want to use that sword. I'll just let him go. All right. (laughs) 
Well, that was fun. Yes, it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Snow Castle. We need I got to, to use a giant hammer. Drop near. Yep. Drop near. Drop near. It's fun to say. Anyway, so, Marilyn and Vinny, what are you two up to while this whole conversation went down? Chilling in the chaos. Okay. <laughs> yep. Sounds good. Hanging out. All right. Rangrim, where do you go? I'm going to go look for cultists. If there's any cultists trying to cause more chaos, I'm going to go... Wow. Okay. Them. Go ahead and make an investigation check as you wander the city. Okay. 13. 13. You don't spy any more cultists that really seem to be okay. running amok, or any cultists for that matter at all. Okay. I'm gonna go find JJ. Okay. Rangrim. Okay. You managed to find him. I'm gonna remind him that we have to go find the next artifact. I guess we can't really help this town anymore. It's probably time that we no, get we out of here. Yeah. Let's just go. Alright. Let's leave. Where are we off to now? Uh, I don't know. We're in search of Dropnir. Yeah, but where was Dropnir? It was in lava. It's in Ysgard. Ysgrimor is not... Ysgrimor is Skyrim. Ysgard. I... So where is that? I have a wee paper here. It's, uh... Damn it. Isn't it between, like, the human realm, like... Uh, no, it was like Odin. Fuck, never mind, I can't remember. It was like Odin's fortress to some degree. Um, right? And it, uh. I don't know. It was where he did a lot of stuff when the old gods were in power before he became a god and was just a really good wizard. Not quite. Okay. Uh, I You're thinking you. of something else. Oh. Uh, that is related. That's where. That's the portal to Isgrimor. Isgard. Right? From what you recall, yes. Okay. Uh, and Isgard is where Dropnir is. So, how do we get there? Are you sure about that? I mean, I'd say let's go to the library, but it probably has a fish in it. That would be pretty it awkward. smells a little fishy, but I think we could check it out. JJ. <laughs> that was, Ooh, that was really terrible. I'm sorry. We should check it out, though. I feel like the library, if it hasn't gotten crushed. Okay. Only you can go in yeah. there. So, you head over to the libraries. It seems like the... Um, Library of the Divine the Greater Library of the Divine rather where you've done all this research Rangrim is unguarded currently but not it's destroyed not I'm gonna push open the door Woo-hoo! what sorry I'm gonna push open the door unless it's a pull okay. door you open the door Okay. yeah I'm gonna look for books related well hold on what's it look like in here Looks like it always did. Less people. Okay. Like, doesn't seem to have been disturbed at all. I'm gonna look for books on Odin and Dropnir. Okay. So Actually, sorry, I'm gonna look for books on Easgard. Okay. So, you go to the light... The, um... Sorry. I'm trying to fucking look through my notes and speak at the same time. It's not going well. Okay. So. It's alright. It happens. You look for a section titled Isgard in the library, the greater library of the divine, correct? Mm Mm-hmm. You find none. No books on Isgard? No such section exists in this library. Odin section? Definitely exists. Books on Isgard in this section? 
couple mention it, um, just kind of stating that Odin just loves the eternal battlegrounds of Isgard. And um, a couple of these books claim that these this plane is not for every wizard. Um, oh, but, no. you know, like some wizards who go to Isgard don't really like it for the battlefields. Mm-hmm. Um. Does it say anything about, like, how to get there? Yeah, that's my question. Do you remember where you learned that information previously? No. Okay. Can None of these books check? mention how to get to Isgard. Well, where did we learn it before? Make a history check. Twelve. Um, you're not sure exactly where you learned, but you remembered um, this man helping you in this library when you were, you know, looking for this information. Do you recall his name? Oh my god, uh, yeah, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, he was a cool dude, though. Uh, a cool dude, Selwyn bro? Bright Hollow. Dude, bro? There you go. Selwyn Bright Hollow. Uh, and he said it to me? You can't quite remember, but you remember he was helping, so it's possible. I'm gonna go see if I can find him. Okay. You look around, and you do find him, actually, in the same section you are currently in. I'm going to be like, so, are you all right? You. What? I'm going to ask him if he's all right. Yes, of course. Why wouldn't I be? Uh, have you uh, have you seen what's been going on outside? Oh, yeah. It looks terrible. Hmm. Looks awful. He is Weather. just kind of, like, sitting in an armchair near a fireplace just kind of reading through a book is there anything I can help the three of you with yes uh yeah it's raining fish that is one thing but I don't really know if we're gonna be able to fix that uh do you have any knowledge of a way to get to Easeguard? yeah um I mean like I told you previously I think your best bet would be the um, wizard's hideaway, as it was known, and kind of where Odin spent most of his time as a mortal wizard, just kind of living there, protecting it. It's kind of a tower of sorts. Uh, do you know where that is? Um, it kind of moves around, but um, I can look into it for you. I have a couple of people who might know. Uh, yeah, if you could look into that, that would be fantastic. Right. Anything else? Uh, I, I guess not. Uh, I, are you are you going to help with the fish situation? Is there anything we can do, do you think? I, I figure that either the army is going to kind of boot up and figure out what to do, or the citizens will. In either case, it's probably going to be bloody. But it's not my job. Hmm. Okay. That's fair point. And then, uh... Yeah, I, I guess we'll leave the library. Okay. Where are you headed? Um... Hmm... I don't know. Okay. Where should we go? Start. He said he'd hope find yeah, it. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like he's going to be getting on that anytime soon. So we've got a bit. Are you sure about that? Um... I don't actually know. Why would it move around, if I can ask? 
Who are you going to ask? Ringrim. Okay. Probably to keep it secure. Like, is it an island, or do you mm. know? I feel it's like, like I didn't know. Existence, isn't, isn't it like it? a kind of its own little small plane? So, um, basically, back when the old gods ruled, most for the most part, the arcane arts were outlawed, like by God's decree. So, a bunch of rather powerful wizards got together, created this tower that would magically teleport to various locations and keep itself concealed through arcane means. Mm -hmm. And they kind of used it as like a school and just a hideout. Makes sense. And I get the, I don't know if we could go to the Divine Watch for help. Because, like, I don't know how deep that corruption runs. It's not really Divine Watch territory, is it? Snowcastle? Not. More like wizard territory. No, I know, but like... Yeah. Just for help in general, because they could still help us look. I mean, Jack, because I studied, would I be able to guess where it might show up? Like, this tower is like really only referenced in like arcane history books it's mm. not mm. as far as you're aware hasn't been in use for at least thousand years and if it is it's only by rather secretive wizards any which I would know. No. Let's go beat the shit out of a wizard. Just go find a wizard and beat him up, and <laughs> if he knows, he'll tell us. And Where's if not, the then tower? Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's the plan, team? I'm not sure. I'm mm, You're struggling I no if you can't deal with that. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I can't remember if you learned this or not, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Uh, Selwyn is kind of just a bit of a traveler and he's only staying in Snowcastle working at the library to earn a bit of coin before he moves on to the next city mm -hmm. so it's not like he's particularly connected to the city okay like yeah. he doesn't really know many people here I guess that does make sense then. Um, I guess I don't really either. But like, I, I don't know where we would necessarily go if we left the city. Just take, take a small nap. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I mean, like, yeah. I'll, I guess you guys can get into the library. No one's guarding it. Yeah, dude. I have a deck of cards if you guys want to yeah. play. <laughs> Let's play some cards in the library. <laughs> I got cards against humanity. Let's fuck up. I have cards IRL. We can even, like, simulate us playing cards in the game by playing cards. <laughs> this is very fun. Aw, oh, heck yeah. I hope everyone's enjoying this episode of Dice Quest. This episode has been a bit of a wandering around the city, trying to figure out what to do next, and the rest will be the same. But we do meet a rather interesting old gnomish lady later on, and that's really fun. There are a couple times where JJ cuts out on this episode, so if you hear or heard us respond to nothing, that's what happened. The next episode of Dice Quest will be released on the 24th of June. Thank you all for listening. We hope you stay safe and enjoy the rest of episode 35 of Dice Quest. Alright, so you guys set up to play cards. Um, 
do you go up to the section, the Odin section, where you previously were? Sure. Okay. You do find the book that Selwyn was reading. He was fairly close to the end, so it's entirely possible that he finished. He set it on a little side table that his chair was set up, set up next to, but he is nowhere to be seen. Okay. Uh, what what book was he reading? Um, it does seem to be about Odin, which is presumably why he was in this section. Um, it's kind of about the life of Odin before he became a god. So, like, does it talk about the wizard place? It might. Can I, like, skim through it? Read it. Sure. Does it? So, it does mention this wizard's hideaway. It, um, it doesn't really describe where it is, or really where it ever was. Possibly because the author didn't know, or doesn't know. But it does describe it as a school once in use, no longer. And just kind of where a lot of wizards of the time would kind of hone their craft and exchange information with other people who were you know, big in the arcane world at the time. Okay. I mean, there's got to be someone on this planet that has been to the school at least once and kind of knows the way out. Alive. Maybe the old ass elf upstairs. Could be him. Let's go beat him up. He brought me back to life. Can we not beat him yeah, up? Let's not beat him up. I don't have many qualms about beating people up, but that's one of them. <laughs> if he saved my life at least once, let's not beat the yeah. shit out of him. For at least like a three month period. Yes, yeah. a grace period. I died. That a grace period of getting the shit kicked, kicked out of him. That revived you, Marilyn. Wasn't that old, but you did meet a very old elf in this town. Wait a Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Maybe he second. didn't revive me. The one that um, gave you the Phoenix tier quest to get into this library. That I completely fucking failed? Yep. We and then you just guy. ignored because you found another way in? Yeah. Yep. That's the one you How met. I roll. We should go talk to that guy. But it he's, was really hard to get to him. He's a super old wizard. Like, he had a little assistant. Well, I know, but, like, this town is on fire. This is a good time to talk to him and be like, we need to get to Isgard. You go try and You're the talk wizard. To him. That's what I'm saying. And this is like, I failed the I quest. I know, but like, I still feel like you can talk to him. Especially because like, this ring is going to be your thing. You know? I am the only one who doesn't have an artifact. Sad well, face. you're about <laughs> to get one, and it's going to be cool, I think. <laughs> You'll <laughs> never get one. I feel like awkwardly shuffling in, just being like, hey, so remember me? who totally failed at that simple thing you told me to do, and I wasn't allowed to get in here, but I'm in here anyway. Well, you know uh, what? I feel he, like desperate times call for desperate measures. He wasn't in a library. He was in a separate building. Oh, I thought it was just like an upstairs office. Nope. I mean, we could try and go I talk definitely to think we should. I think that would be fruitful, because he was old, so we might have an idea of, like, being part of that wizard's hideaway a thousand years ago. Because he's old. Fine. We'll try. All right. So you head over there, uh, kind of bustling through this horde of people. It does seem like a few small fights have broken out between um, some guards from the castle and civilians of this town. And you press on. Yeah, I'm just going to let it happen. That's why it's I paused okay, to see if anyone was going to do anything. Rangroom doesn't really like it, it's but it's going to be better to just bite the bullet and let this pass in the long run. All right. Hell no. Fuck them kids. Oh, fuck them. So, That's why. You get to this building. You go inside. Again, this building seems untouched, and it doesn't seem like anyone has even thought about coming in. Probably for the best. Are there any, like, guards or shit? No. And there weren't the first time you came here. I don't remember. But there is... <laughs> been a while. ...the same secretary kind of sitting at her desk. 
looks up from her desk. Uh, how can I help the three of you? We need to... I don't know his name. We need to meet the wizard upstairs. Thought He's it was a separate in building. a meeting at the moment. Can it wait? How important is it? <laughs> well, that's not for me to say. But he only... Is it as important as giant fish falling from the sky? Oh, we're not too bothered with that. It'll happen. Uh, I mean, okay. is it more important than, like, the end of oh, the world? Oh, shit. <laughs> what if he's meeting the cultists? Oh, shit. Still not Can we for bust me in to anyway? say. How, do you know how soon he's going to be done? She kind of looks at an hourglass on her desk. Maybe about ten more minutes at the most. We'll wait for him. Can we wait ten yeah. minutes? <laughs> okay, fine. No crashing the meeting for us, apparently. Just kick just in the door and be like, I wanted to, uh, but then I don't want to regret it. Okay, so are we going to wait the ten minutes? Okay. Yes. Okay, you only know him as the lore master. Thank yep. you. All right, so you guys wait the ten minutes? Yes. All right. So after about seven minutes pass, you see a familiar face walk out of the door. Ooh. Selwyn Bright Hollow. Oh. Hey. Hello. Didn't expect to see you here. Buddy. We were just about to talk to that uh that wizard guy. Was he was he the person you were thinking of, the East Guard? He was the first person I was going to talk to, yeah. Mm. I have a couple other contacts that might be able to help though. Ah, thank you. Did you not find anything useful in this guy? Uh he's kind of forgetting things in his old age. Disappointing. But I, I didn't want to push him too far. He's Good man. I understand. All right. Well, it was good seeing you. Thank you so much for the favor. I uh, I owe you one. He just kind of smirks and nods and leaves. Okay. Lies. The secretary l- looks up from her parchment once more and says, "You three can go on in." Okay. I, th- I still say we should talk to him. All right. Let's go in. All right. So, you enter. Again, this is a pretty musty room. And this very old, like, his age shows, which isn't typical for elves. Um, He has a... Excuse me. A... Bless you. Uh, pretty large phoenix just kind of wandering around the room. Seems to be walking about, pecking at a couple of um, worms that have been crawling through and on the wooden floors. And he kind of looks at you, Marilyn. I thought you had died. Uh, I did. (laughs) That would explain (laughs) it. How can I help you? We just had some questions. We're trying to get some. I have a question for Jack. Yes. Can I I'm s- ready. subtly cast a spell called the Zone of Truth? Uh, does it require verbal components? Maybe. If it does, then I'm going <laughs> to need a stealth check. Oh, it's verbal and somatic. Stealth check. Quickly just, like, turn around. Give me a second. I need to whisper something to myself and wave my hands around. It makes me feel better. Um, don't mind me. It makes you feel good deep down inside. Oh, it also says an affected speech is the word. Well. Huh. Would you still like to cast it? You've never it? met this man and you're trying to, like cast spells. I'm casting spells on him. I'm casting spells around him in a 60 foot sphere. Sphere. Actually, it's... He's still casting the spell? It's a 15 foot radius sphere. I don't know. Decide. Marilyn, you should keep asking questions and I'll think about it. Uh, Have you ever attended magic school? 
specifically in a tower. Did nah, you go what? to Hogwarts? Did you meet Harry Potter? <laughs> Most wizards By chance, attend were you a the university. I, of course, am no different. We're looking for a very specific place. Wait. The wizard's hideaway. Make a persuasion check. Can I help her? No, this is... it. Like, persuasion isn't exactly the right skill, but it makes the most sense to me, so... I got a 19. <laughs> okay. He, like, his eyes seem to light up a little, kind of like he's remembering something. Come on, old man, that, you can do it. That old place? Yes. I think my... My friend went there once, a long time ago. Do you have... Do you know of any way we could find it for ourselves? Locate it? Oh, well, we sent letters there often. We always... We always used our familiars, though. Could you summon a familiar to seek it out? That we could possibly follow? Or could we use our own familiar? Farah? Uh, that you could follow, maybe not, but... I'm sure that he would manage to find you the place. Actually, wait. That would be very <laughs> useful. Yeah, look. <laughs> what if- and he kind of looks over at the phoenix... Phelan, do you, do you remember where Edward went to school? And the phoenix just kind of, like, nods a little. Find it for me. And the phoenix um, just kind of vanishes in this little whiff of arcane smoke, almost. And w with a little puff sound, and then you hear a similar sound from the opposite side of a window and this phoenix just kind of takes flight what a good boy <laughs> uh Rangram, can you use uh that can I what finding spell on the phoenix no cause it's a creature unfortunately yeah Curses. rats god damn it <laughs> And also, they have to be within a thousand feet Rager. of me. Stop being useless. No. Leave him alone. I don't alone. think I will. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What would we like to ask and or do now? So the old guy said he couldn't follow it. But he's sending it off to go find it. He said that you wouldn't be able to follow his familiar, but he would be able to find it. Right. And then we could just... Do you remember so maybe we just anything else about this place? Very, very stuffy wizards. Stuffy wizards? Like pompous wizards? And he just nods. Was it hard to get in? Did you ever go? Oh, immensely. I believe the tuition was some um, 5,000 gold a month. Oh. Does anyone use it anymore? Oh, I can't imagine. I believe my friend was in the final year. How long how ago was that? How old is your friend? At the question, how long ago, he thinks for... About ten seconds, clearly counting to a rather large number on his hands. Uh, it must have been... 900, maybe, years ago. Alright, as as question number two. Oh no, he, he, was a, he was a gnome. Dead a long time. Very sorry for your loss. <laughs> uh, that was... That was more than 700 years ago. I've almost forgotten about it. Till we brought it up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bringing up old memories. <laughs> and on that <laughs> note, goodbye. <laughs> Are you worried about the fish? Oh, things like this happen all the time. 
I certainly what? hope not. <laughs> uh, and when will we know when your familiar returns? I'll send a messenger for you. Where are you staying? Uh, the inn we were thinking about staying at is kind of destroyed. And? We don't really have a place at the moment. <laughs> They have spare rooms, do they? Ah, uh, yes. I don't think so. I don't know. Absolutely, they do. We are invited guests. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll send Phalian for you. To where? Sounds okay, good. sounds good. Right. All right. Well. Any more questions? Thank you. Uh, thank you for your help. Uh, let us know if you need anything. You, you've helped us a lot. I'm too old to need anything. Alright. Maybe a we'll walk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Marilyn, Shut from what you recall, he has been, he sat, he's currently sitting in the same position, same spot that he was last time you saw him. You're not sure if he's moved. <laughs> like, in all he honesty. Needs a, um, he needs an electric chair. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Literally just roast the hell out of this old man the second he helps you. And then they leave. <laughs> <laughs> and like, again, Marilyn, you haven't seen an elf that looks this old. Can I ask him how old he is? Sure, if you'd like. Just like old as shit. Wait, if you if you know how old are you? Uh, I've honestly I haven't been keeping track. Thanks for a couple seconds. I uh, must be nearing a score of centuries. Two thousand. Do you remember your birthday? <laughs> oh no, I've forgotten about that a long time ago. Ooh. He's 2,000 years old. Yep. Goddamn. Which is much longer than elves typically live. Yeah, but mm -hmm. he's a wizard, so he's got some magical shenanigans he can do. Well, thank you. Yes, of course. You. Let's go. <laughs> and then we'll leave. Alright. Y'all leave. Where are we headed to now? Uh, Wanna go play cards in the library? I guess. Hell yeah. Go team. Alright, so you head to the library. Play some cards. Are we trading money at all? I don't want no. to. Cool. Ringgrim nah, lost dude. all my gold. <laughs> we'll treat, we'll have just bad dignity. <laughs> yeah. I have none left. No, no, no. It's like whoever <laughs> wins gets the glory of winning. All right. After about an hour or so, and it's starting to get dark, um, you do hear some voices throughout kind of in the floors below you. Um, but after about an hour or so, Selwyn Bright Hollow returns, and he says, I think I might have a lead Oh, for you. And if you're interested. Uh, yes, we're interested. What is it? Um, you'll have to follow me. It was um, the lore master's friend's great, great, great granddaughter, I believe. If I'm counting right. Good Jesus. Uh, yeah, that would that would help. Right. Thank you. All right. Um, and he does say, just don't frighten her too much. It might be best if you leave your weapons here. Danny, how about you watch our weapons? Is my sword in your bag of holding? You took it for the battle. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put it back in the bag of holding. Okay. Can I put Milnir in the bag of holding? You can certainly try. Would I be able to lift it? You wouldn't. Can I just put it in the bag of holding? You can try. Wait, will it weigh down the back of holding? You're not sure. Listen, I don't Let's like do that. <laughs> I put it in the back of holding. 
Marilyn, are you trying to resist this action? (laughs) I mean, a little bit, but probably not enough to be effective. (laughs) Okay. So, Vanny, you grab Mjolnir, slide it into the bag of holding, and as soon as you let go, this bag just rips in half under the weight. And Look what you did. Everything that was once in the bag of holding comes tumbling out. Mjolnir lands on the floor, almost breaking the wood beneath it, but not quite. Okay, well, uh, now I know Mjolnir is too strong for all your shit. Oh, shit. What about the bag? <laughs> you no longer have a bag of holding that is functional. Oh, shit. Oh, can we sew it back together? Fanny, I swear to God. <laughs> can we, can we, can we I'm fix sorry. Some, like, some, You're not sorry. some staples and super glue? Can we just glue the boo back together? That was my together? favorite thing I had. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Uh, I was genuinely upset. <laughs> well. Uh, uh, there is a weight limit to the bag of holding. There is? Yeah. I thought it was just infinite. Nope. Oh. Shit. Now we have no place to put the sword. Like, how about I just stay here and hold on to everything and not scare the shit out of this really old chick or something? <laughs> is someone just standing Would there you like... like um... I, I think you should stay here. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. All right. Do we want to just leave Vanny behind? Is that what we're doing? Yes. Okay, we'll just give Vanny all of our stuff. <laughs> okay. I will watch it. Oh, good, Mike. Okay. If you lose any of my shit after breaking my bag, I swear to Christ. I'm oh. just going to sit here in the library. <laughs> Play solitaire. Going to get hella good at yeah. solitaire. All right. So, Marilyn and... and... Rangrim, I almost said Vanny. Marilyn and Rangrim, you two follow Selwyn down to a home that is fairly far away from where most of these fish fell. Uh, a couple people are still like running through the streets, panicked, but um, like this part of town doesn't seem destroyed at all. Okay, Selwyn knocks on the door and says I think I'll leave you two to this if you don't mind. Okay. I've got a couple other errands to run. I understand. Thank you for your help. Of course. Um, she is quite clever, just so you're aware. Okay. No trickery for this one. And he heads off would someone like to knock? Sure. I will. Okay. You knock, and about 30 seconds pass, and this door creaks open. It doesn't seem well cared for, the like exterior of the house, door included. But inside, it's fairly clean, and there are a lot of pretty, like, just so y'all know, Clocks are a thing. They tend to be massive, though. Like, the gears have to be big, because no one's really competent. Not competent, but, like, no one's capable of producing clockwork machines that are so small and gears that are so small and still precise. But the interior of this house is lined with small wall-mounted clocks. So that's really cool. And Neato. this little old gnome woman opens the door. She says, Hi, how can I help? I, you're the second visitors today. Do you, do you want a cup of tea? Sure. sure. Be wonderful. Thank you. She stands at like two foot tall and she's hunched over. So she's not big. <laughs> By any that means. would be lovely. <laughs> Come in, have a, have a seat. And these this furniture in. 
is way too small for either of you. Raygrim ghosted on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Just like casually trying to avoid <laughs> the furniture. <laughs> what I have been able to fit on this furniture? Yeah. Like, Heck yeah. halflings are no- and gnomes are about the same size. So you would have managed had you came. Yeah, probably. Um, and she comes out about a minute later carrying a little tray with these really nice looking um, teacups that are about the size of a shot glass. I will shoot my <laughs> Just, like, tea. Just it on the table. And like the teapots in the center, they're all decorated very nicely with flowers. And she sets them on a, again, very small table and hands you each one of these glasses. Has a seat on her couch. Now, what, what do you two want? Uh, I'm going to first politely sip out of this tiny little teacup thimble as daintily okay. as I physically can, <laughs> even though I am a dwarf with a gigantic beard. Um, Love it. And then once I do my best at this, I'm going to say, uh, we we heard you might have information about uh, some sort of wizard's hideaway. Oh, yes, yes. And she does, through this whole thing, she has this massive smile on her face, like she just seems so excited that, like, people are coming to talk to her. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it kind of makes me feel bad. Um, and she's like, yeah, um, the, the man that was here earlier, uh, he, he wanted to know the same thing. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get the book for you. And she Thank you. waddles up the stairs. And these stairs, the, like, this whole house was built for human-sized people. Oh no! But like all of her furniture is made for halfling and gnome sized. <laughs> so um, can I so help she is, her up the stairs? Sure, you can help her up the stairs. She was kind of like throwing one leg up and pulling the other up, stair at a time. <laughs> no, <laughs> just I got her you. Up. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so you help her up the stairs, and she thanks you. And then she's like, and, and it's just in the attic. And she kind of <laughs> walks over, grabs, you know, those ladders at like big libraries with wheels on the bottom and the railing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she pulls one of those over and starts to climb up towards this trap door in the ceiling. She gets up there. It Would you like to follow Marilyn? Yeah. Rangram, are you still sipping your tea? No, I'm, I'm, I'm coming with Marilyn just to okay. make sure that I can help this lady. Okay. So you both climb up after her, and this attic is just cluttered with a bunch of old antique stuff. All, again, fairly halfling-sized. Um, and Rangram, she don't move. <laughs> kind of looks through, climbs over a couple small chests and eventually she gets to a, like, ancient looking bookshelf and you do see one book that isn't quite covered in dust she pulls it out she kind of looks at the um, cover and run like, not runs, but waddles back to you and hands you the book Honestly, um, you can just keep it if you'd like. I don't get much use for it. Carefully look through it. Sure. What languages do you speak? Oh, we might want to go. I will tell you. We might want to go downstairs first. It is very dark up here. Like it, it. Like I understand you have dark vision, but it's going to be hard to read in this lighting condition. Can I just carry her down the stairs so we don't have to wait for her? Sure. <laughs> Being very careful of everything. All right, I read common, elvish, and draconic. Okay, 
You do not recognize this language. Shit. Uh, oh, 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 I speak, I speak. Uh, common, dwarvish, celestial, and giant. Okay. You also do not recognize this language. Damn. Miss? Yes? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Oh, um... She kind of thinks for a moment, almost like she's kind of forgotten. I I think it was hot. Uh, no, it wasn't high. What was it? Uh, uh, Dark Hill. That was it. Dark Hill. Miss Dark Hill. Um, yes. Do you happen to know what language this is? She looks at the book, kind of squinting. That's gnomish. Oh, I do not speak gnomish. <laughs> Well, do you read it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a good language. You should you should learn it. It's fun. It sounds very fun, but I don't yeah, really have time you, to learn an entire language. <laughs> you you kids are not having time for anything. I don't mean to be rude, but we're trying to stop the summoning of the old gods. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of on a time limit. <laughs> Uh, I just want to be back at the library, like, learning gnomish for no reason whatsoever. I'm like, this is kind of interesting. <laughs> Goes back. We really need to find someone who knows gnomish, and Vanny's just like, oh, it's my time. <laughs> um, she, do, she does, like, say something else about, like, your age, like, oh, youth is so dramatic. Just, you know, not at all believing you. (laughs) You know, Boomer thinks. Ma'am, I already met Thor today, please. (laughs) There are fish falling from the sky. (laughs) Oh, is that what I heard? Yeah. I thought it was the neighbors again. (laughs) No, there's giant poison fish everywhere. And they crush the castle. (laughs) She is, like, you are having to talk rather loudly. It does seem like she's going a bit deaf. I'm just, like, kneeling down, shouting at this old halfling. (laughs) This old gnome, just like, ma'am, the world is ending. Please. (laughs) You know what? I'm going to be a little courteous. I'm just going to talk to her a bit about her life, you know? Let her reminisce a bit while trying to sip out of this tiny (laughs) teacup. It's, it's, but your tea has been gone for a long time. Just like it lasted about two sips. (laughs) Just so you're aware, (laughs) Ingrid. Okay. <laughs> Getting like the Just last one drop. <laughs> uh, well, there's clockworker, like my father. He made about half of these clocks and she points around at her walls. Uh, I think it was his grandfather that really got the small clockwork off the ground. Ooh. We've been trying to make stuff that's maybe could even fit in your pocket but pff, nothing can be made that small. Oh, oh. Well, I think that if that invention were created, it would be quite useful. Eh, who needs to know the time when you're outside? You can look at the sky. Ah, oh, that's true. But imagine if you can made... Can I you shoot could call my it... tea like a shot? <laughs> yes, you can. And you do so. You could call it something like, oh, like a pocket watch. That just rolls right off the tongue. No, stupid name. Uh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you are the clock Call worker. It a you watch. are the expert. Ah. Uh, so, clockworking. Uh, have yes. you done that your whole life? I haven't. I clearly haven't done anything else, have I? I oh, guess not. No, you just sit in your house, <laughs> make clocks. Talking to dwarves when we should be saving the world. God damn. I love this woman. <laughs> this woman is just like, I made clocks. <laughs> but I don't, She's I sassy don't want to help you. <laughs> I want to talk about the old days, but I don't really want to talk about the old days. Um, fuck the old days. <laughs> fuck the old days, but I don't really want to help else? you with this book either. <laughs> Um, I'll, well, I'll be like, well, uh, if you could help us at all with this book, I think that would be very, would be, we would be in your deck. You know, 
I think we should just go. <laughs> um, but if, uh, if you do not want to translate this book for us, I understand, and we can, we can find a way to translate it. I have better things to do than read. My great, 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 great? Or is it just three? Maybe four? At any rate, I don't have time to translate his diary. Ah, well, good luck on I'm working on Thank you. You're working on. Have a good day. Are Let's you sure go. you don't want some more tea? Ah. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll, we'll let you get back to what you needed to get done. I have some rolls in the oven. Ma'am, please. <laughs> Ma'am. No, bring me back a roll, damn it. Uh, I'm Any sorry, scones? ma'am, but we really need to go. How long do the rolls have left? Two thanks for a minute. They might have wait, five minutes. Do we have five minute train group? I'm sorry, ma'am. We need to go. Thank you very much for your help. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this lady, uh, though, is this... literally stalling, even though she just said, well, I don't have time to help you. I'm so damn busy. Well, then get back to work. <laughs> She's baking, Rangroom. We are disturbing the peace. We're disturbing the role. Keep in mind, you do not smell a fire currently. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Which you would if she was baking something. I feel like she's trying to keep us here. So I think we should just peace out. I mean, we got the diary. Yeah, we got we got what we came for. Let's go. Maybe she's just lonely. <laughs> oh, but then she could be not lonely if she helped us with the book. <laughs> Rain Grim? Uh, what? We're fine. <laughs> What? But let's just go. Okay. Thank you very much for your help, ma'am. If we need to come bother her again, we can. Thank you very much for your help, ma'am. <laughs> when we're in town again, we will definitely stop by. Yes. Good. Goodbye. See ya. Come again. Yeah, we'll do. Any more tea before you go? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you. Bye. Goodbye. And, God you damn. know, she leads you out. Um... Closes the door behind you. God, I feel like I need to sprint back after that. <laughs> That's so slow. <laughs> We're running out of time. Uh, okay, let's go back to Maddie. Okay. Or Vanny. All right. Hell yeah, dudes. You get back to the library. What have you been doing this whole time, Vanny? No, no, bad. Don't do that. Oh, I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, my cat started trying to chew on the cord to my microphone. <laughs> I was about to say something, you're like, no! I was like, okay, never mind then. <laughs> so what are you gonna do, Vanny? Um, the moment they walk in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold a book upside down, pretend I've been reading for like the last hour. Oh. No. <laughs> sorry, what were you doing? I'm holding a book upside down, pretending to read. <laughs> Pretending to read. <laughs> yeah. right. I'm an urchin. I don't know how to read. So, you two return, seeing Vanny obviously reading. What would you two like to do? I'll point out to what her. Are you reading? Rather. No, what are you reading? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's about dragons. <laughs> it's right in front of you. What does it say? I can see that the cover's upside down, right? Yes, you can. Yeah, there, there is a picture on the cover down. as well. Like, there's a nice little <laughs> painting on the cover. <laughs> Tell her the book's upside down. She has to flip it over if she wants to read it. Don't tell her. Okay. I flip it back over, and you guys see it's not even about dragons. It's like human anatomy or something. It's a picture book. <laughs> so I'm just like, mm, interesting. So do you happen to know anyone who reads gnomish? Nope. I bet we could find someone in this town. I don't want to make the other old guy do it. I'm, I don't want to go just going around pressuring seniors to do things they don't want to do. <laughs> They're already close to death. <laughs> <laughs> the no, geriatrics. Let, Let the fossils have some pressure. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, that, that was dark. I enjoyed it. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. It might be the last excitement they get before they keel over, okay? 
Apparently, you oh, don't gotta God. harsh on old people so much. <laughs> there are already one foot in the grave. You might as well punt, like, punt them in the rest of the way, right? <laughs> if they've lived this long, what is translating a little book gonna do? <laughs> Kill them. I just want to let them live their golden years out in peace. <laughs> you know what? Their golden They're years past their golden years. years. <laughs> That's long gone. They're in like platinum. If, like, if the guy upstairs oh can't even lift his goddamn ass out of his chair, his golden ages are gone. He still wasn't upstairs. <laughs> what else is he gonna do? I feel do? like you're talking a lot of shit for not knowing where this guy even is. Look, I know. I just know him as the guy upstairs. <laughs> He's not you told me his, He's not like, even upstairs. Him, and I didn't even write it down. He's not upstairs, though. Lore master. The lore He's not master. even upstairs. <laughs> so we need to find someone to translate it unless someone knows a magic spells that allows you to read languages that are not yours. That would not be me. I mean, um, <laughs> well, we're in a library full of magical books. How about we find something? They're not there, magical or, books, you know, they're like just regular book? books. Yeah, how about that? This book, <laughs> this book, this library seems to be dedicated solely to books about the gods. I have mentioned multiple times that you are in the greater library of the divine. Yeah, uh, that implies that library. there are other libraries in this town. Plus, I've said that there are other libraries in this town. Let's go find another library. We need to translate it from English to Spanish to Dwarvish, then to Gnomish. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best way to figure it all out. All right. As you guys go off looking for a way to translate this book... That is where we are going to end it for tonight.